Boxing Show, folks. We're doing it again. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, go on YouTube and click on that first video. But today we got some fancy stuff to unbox for everybody. Six blisters, vivid voltage. Ooh. We got a, another black pink microphone. Um, try to make that not a, a habit. And we got a blind bag, Nightmare for Christmas. Um, and they are figure bag clips. You put them in your backpack, your Walmart shopping bag, stuff like that. Um, what, what should we do here? I got, um, we got a card out of the week. Danny bring his card of the week. We got uh, a card this should week. we reveal that right away? Let's just get into it. Uh, you know what? Let's bring up the fucking debacle. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, before the show, Danny actually bringing us something to my attention that I was, I have always been pissed about, but never really confronted myself about it. So, Danny, let's, let's let him have it. All right. So, what we got here, and we'll, we'll put this up there on the screen for you to see better, though, is a live part from Champion's Path. It's an uncommon. Yep. Okay, and what was the set before Champion's Path, Tyler? All right, Darkness of Blaze. Okay, why don't you flip that card over for me? It's a uh, live card from Darkness of Blaze. Same card. The exact same card, but a rare. But a rare. Okay. Um, obnoxious. Pokemon. Give me a different art. Give me something. <laughs> but people are going to buy the rare, and then they're going to get a fuck ton of uncommons because Champion's Path has less cards. It's ridiculous. I love you, Pokemon. But don't do that. Don't do it. Um, and would it piss you off more if it was an uncommon to begin with and then turned into a rare? I think so. Yeah, because you're yeah. like, okay, we're going to take a rare slot now. Yeah. <laughs> Just give us some new art, like we said. Like, if you new, give us new, new art. art we'll or fine. maybe skip a fucking set, at least, at or least, something. Yeah. Back to yeah. back. There was a, um, another card, James Path, that was a couple of little like that. That was just like... Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Make new cards. All right. Let's get into card of the week now, though. Card of the week. All right. Give it um, to him. So I picked this one out because, man, he just looks so pissed. It's good old Primate. Primate. So fucking pissed. I uh, really like this card specifically because he's like going Super Saiyan. I mean, like the blister over his eye where he's like surging with anger is like as prominent as ever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this thing is just swirling. Uh, what I showed you there was the Korean one. Um, this is from Sun and Moon Team Up. I think for in Korea it's like Tag Bolt or some shit. But um, just an uncommon card uh, made by uh, Ansaki Dynamic. And Saki Dynamic. Yeah, who's done over 60 cards in the TCG, going back to fucking Steam Siege. Yep. Uh, he did a Charizard, so everyone that collects Charizards has some of his artwork. Yep. Um, he's done a bunch of cards, so... Zero Metapods and zero Tentacruels, though. So, yeah. you don't got our vote quite yet. Yeah, but keep working, because we want more Metapods and Tentacruels released, because... Yeah. Um, and in upcoming episodes, we will have a live tracker going with the current Tentacruel and Metapod numbers that we have. Um, we'll get those to you. Yeah. But. Um, and, uh, another fact about Primeape is if you ever, if you ever make eye contact with a Primeape, it will never stop chasing you. Um, so seriously, if you see, if you see a Primeape, just do not look at it. It's like, uh, Just wear really dark sunglasses. It's like Blind Box, or Bird Box, that movie bird, with Sandra bird, Bullock. Bird Blind. Um, and Primeape was, uh, Ash caught a Mankey in the original yep. series, um, as we all know. And then it turned into a primate, and he only used that primate for one episode, and he's like, nope, I can't control it, so we got it back in the Pokeball, and then the next episode, I think he faced Erica, the gym leader, and was like, oh, he's getting down on his Pokemon, he's like, should I use this primate? And he's like, no, I won't be able to control it. So, Ash had a primate, and it would have probably have been one of the strongest Pokemon if he had tried to train it, but... but Charizard's, like, just fine. The Charizard, well, yeah. Well, after a couple of <laughs> yeah. issues, but <laughs> Yeah, still, Charizard just, like, keep blowing me up, but primate was too, too nasty. Yeah. So... That just shows you how bad of a Pokemon Primate really is that even Ash is afraid of him. Pretty dope, though. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, should we get to our first unboxing? Or, first uh, unboxing, yeah. I do have some uh, Pizza Boys, uh, you know, ups and downs of the week. You want to do the Pizza Boys? Mm hmm All right. Yep. All right, so Pizza Boy. We got a, a buy and sell here. Um, oh, yeah. The Pizza Boys picks of the week. Yeah. Oh, what do we have here? As always, Pizza Boy drew a nice clock and some money. Oh, yes, yes, the Pizza Boy did it. So, what you need to buy this week is Togepi. Togepi had that big stand when he first came out. Yeah, everyone was like a second generation of Pokemon's coming. Yeah, who's in the egg? Yeah. Well, Togepi's making a comeback. He kind of had a little, fell flat a little bit there in the past few years, but he's going to skyrocket to the top. Yeah. Mmm. I got a tiger, baby. Yeah. You gotta sell your Doduos, brother. Doduo's not going anywhere, and he's never gonna go anywhere. Look at this. Doduo has never made a rise or a fall until now. Doduo's gonna fall down in 2021. Just you watch. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Ah. 
And that was Pizza Boy's Picks of the Week. Ah, uh, Dan, uh, that was good stuff. I'm glad we had Pizza Boy in the studio again. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, do some opening. Should we uh, do some of your packs and then some of these? Or should we do some of these and some of the packs? How, how should we do it? I here? got six packs. So I think... Um, Maybe you do two. I open another up. You do two. I open another one. And then you end with two. Viewers, you want that? Yeah. Then we'll get a little bit of everything. All right. Yeah. Let's do so that. let's start with two. All right. Um, so we got a Zarude, Orbeetle, Celebi, Pikachu, Zarude, and Zarude. Three I got Zarude. three Zarudes. I'm going to go with one of them first. So Blisters... I'm a big fan of because the pulls are like completely random. Instead of getting like a booster box or pulling cards out of a booster box, you don't have, you've got the chance of getting them, but if somebody It's a pulls, bigger pull. Yeah. You know, it's, because a booster box, you're like, I'm going to get a secret rare probably, you know, not guaranteed, but it's a better chance. Yep. Right? And here, I guess the chances are almost lower, but there's a better chance that each of these could have a secret rare. You could have six secret rares. Uh, hypothetically. Hypothetically. Um, so it's rude, sealed, uh, it does have the nice... Stamps on there. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty heavy. Um, and Vivid Voltage, if I'm not mistaken, is still, uh, the Pikachu Rainbow VMAX is still going for like 200 plus yeah, dollars. Yeah, I've got it on here for 225 Rainbow Pika. Um, that's crazy. There's a Nessa Secret Rare that's going for like 45 The Pika, Pikachu V Full Art's going for like 40 If you pull any of those, sell them because they're going to drop. Yeah, and the Shiny Obstagoon and Orangaroo would also be very sweet. So we got the first pack And those here. are cute cards, I think. Uh, we don't do the card tricks, so you don't have to see those uh, random cards in there. But we got a Sandile, Oshawott, fucking Paneko, Kaferi, Tynamo, a Reverse Hollow Mightyena. That's pretty cute. Oh, uh, cool. A non hollow two cannon. That's <laughs> sick as fuck. Two cannons, great. Um, and then uh, Moo Moo Cheese, Sableye. Oh, can I see Moo Moo Cheese? I can see that. Heal pretty, 30 damage from a 2 your one that have energy touch. That's all right. Pretty lame pack right there. I'm um, not very happy with it, but we're going to go with Orb Beetle next. So let's get this Orb Beetle opened. Pretty much anything better than that last pack. Have um, you ever seen the Team Flare Polka Dolls? Um, I can't recall. So it's an item that acts just like a polka doll. It has 30 HP and goes into your, you know, active Pokemon spot. But when your opponent kills it, they do not take a prize card. We have to invest in those because that's awesome. That is cool. Yeah. Because most other polka dolls, I think you take a prize card. I don't believe so. Really? Yeah. I thought it was. I don't think so. Maybe I got to mix up with like Fossil or something. Maybe. Ninkata. Um, if there's a Shed Engine in this deck, I'd be real happy. He's one of my faves. Um, pick, pick a peck. Pick Pinky a peck. peck. Pinky peck. peck. Puccina. Super cool. Uh, Rockruff, sick. Blitzel, super tight. Ooh, a reverse hollow rare. We got the Ooh, Fort that's a good Forestra. sign. That's a good sign. And a hollow Zorora. 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 Okay, I guess. Um, not going to be my favorite. Dark Energy, Electric, Kakuna, and a Loudred. That's um, a cute Kakuna. He's just kind of resting. He's done growing, but he hasn't sprouted into a bee drill yet. He's kind of looking at like a path that could be uh, Times Square, something like that. Could could be, um, or uh, what's the fucking Central Park? Oh, that's what I would say. Times Square is not a park. Uh, pretty lame pulls. Uh, let's get this black pink thing going. And I mean, with this, this is going to be um, pretty much any good pulls. And as you guys watched in last week, there's twelve different outfits I can get um, with the four girls. There's three of music videos. Do 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 do. Um, Kill this love and boom by ah. I'm really hoping for a Boom by Am uh, outfit because that's kind of the, the one that got me and Danny into the the, the genre. Um, so and shout out to Blackpink if you guys are watching these videos, please hit us up. Hit us we'd up. love to have you on the show. I would pay for uh, everything for you guys. Um, Tyler's gonna pay for everything for you guys. <laughs> I probably shouldn't. Though. He's doing it. He I, said it. I said I would. I said I would. What? Ooh, I see fishnet got? legs, baby. I see fishnet legs. Who is this going to be? Who's that? Is this Jenny? Who is this? Look at Jenny. Look at Jenny. We really got to see her put together. You, gotta, you do, because she's bald right now. Um, it's kind of weird, actually. I do love those fishnets, though. The fishnets are great. Who wore the fishnets? What video? I mean, all of them at some point, right? Yeah. It's not fitting all the greatest. You open that up, I'll put it on there for you. All right, you get it on there. Fishnet, though, girl. That's that's very cute. The top of the microphone has their accessories. Jenny? Could be Jenny. Jenny. It's so hard to tell. I mean, they're just... Lisa, Mona, Lisa, Mona, Lisa. 
Ooh. Earrings. And roller skates. We got skates. earrings and roller skates and a wow. skirt. Or a shirt. Shirt Kurt. I haven't seen one with roller skates yet, so this is a big find. This is really cool. I have not seen one with roller skates either. Let's see, let's see. Oh, they have little things in the back. You got it. I got it. Oh, got it. Wow. It has roller skates and fishnets and gold earrings. It's really a mystery now who it is. And she's got a different top because she doesn't want to go out in the world looking like that. She's a cute little girl in a cute little world. She's got her piece, her fingers are showing up the peace sign too. Wow. It's great. Show the camera. Wow, dude. Guys, look at that. That's perfection right there. We'll figure out who that is. She's one of the girls. Oh, it's the girl, whoever did the crawly thing, boom by ah, I think. Because she had roller skates on. Oh, yeah. So, who was that? I don't know. I think it was Jenny. We're going to go with Jenny. We're going to go with Jenny, but wow, what a cute. Makes me want to open them up every week when they're this cute. Um, Yeah. Should we get some more packs of Pokemon in here? Uh, we got four packs left. I'm going with that. Uh, I'm going with that Celebi. We're going Celebi. Oh, yeah. Blister. Yeah. Off to the side, fresh packs. You know we don't cheat the system this way. We don't because our pulls are terrible. Opening it up. Okay, we got a whooper. Glaring me out. How many are you guys gonna make? How many glaring me out? I like that whooper, dude. He's a cute. He's a real cute. He's taking um, a he's taking a bath. <laughs> psychic type Cottony, because uh, fairy is now psychic, so that's cool. Aracuda, sweet. Needed more of those. Yeah. Another Ninkata, is that the same art? I don't know where Ninkata went. Did I take it somewhere else? Uh, mighty Who's that stupid bitch? Ninkata. Mm. I, there it is. Mm -hmm. Same art. Same, same art. art. Don't worry, bro. He's tripping. Uh, Eevee, reverse holo. Ooh. Good reverse holo to get. Yeah. Um, Real good one. Pretty. Uh, Zygarde holo. Great. You guys keep making Zygarde hollows. Just keep on making them. That's terrific, boys. Lightning energy. Ooh. The grass Ooh. energy. Aromatic energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides leaf energy. This leaf Pokemon this card is attached to you recovers from all special conditions and can't be affected by special conditions. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. dope. That's pretty good. And uh, Mighty Anna. So that was um, okay, I guess. Not really anything that I wanted. I think that Shooting Star Eevee in the long run is going to be a valuable card because it's a really sweet art on that Eevee with the color contrast and, and it's Eevee. We're going to go with another Zerud pack here. Uh, Pikachu inside though. So that's a, a fun sign. Ooh. Yeah, I like when they're different. Right away. All right. Slugma. Everyone's favorite. I love Slugma. Beldum. So cute. Milkery. Milsery. Milkery. Whooper, another Ninkata. Looks like we're doing another Ninkata deck. Uh, <laughs> nope. Another Reverse Hollow Rare, Terrakian. That's pretty dope. It's pretty dope fighting nice. type. Maybe that'll make a comeback. Dustnor Hollow. Pretty cool Hollow, actually. Not bad. I love Dustnor. Pretty tight. Pretty yeah. tight, actually. Pretty cool. Um, nothing good, though. Uh, Lightning, Heroes Metal, Glarian Stungfist. Love them. The Hollows in Save this set. Look a lot better than the Champions Path Hollows because the Champions Path Hollows can be look really cheap. Um, I didn't enjoy them that much. Uh, moving on, moving Danny, on. what do you think? You got pulled four packs with three Hollow Rares. That kind of makes the guy angry. He's like, why can't one of them be a V? Just a V. It's a V or a full art energy. I mean, a full art uh, trainer or something like just something. Something, but that's okay. We got some Hollows at least. We only got the one non Hollow Rare. Yeah. All right. So, the night before Christmas bag clips, blind bags. Um, there's gonna be two chases in this set. It's the series five set, I believe. Yep. Um, there is. Let's see. There's twelve figures all in all, and there's two chases, which we're chasing today. There's gonna be a Jack Skellington with a pumpkin head that you see in the beginning of the movie, and there's gonna be a Sally with a deadly nightshade in her hand, and the other Sally is holding a black cat. So if we pull a Sally, we want the deadly nightshade in her hand because that is the chase. I mean, Dan here has actually never seen Night Before Christmas, which um, a couple years ago I had only seen it as a kid and didn't remember a whole lot of it because it was like one of those things like I liked it as a kid, but it was like I didn't see it after five, so I can't recall it. 
Um, I started watching it again and because of my girlfriend and kids, because they all are obsessed. And um, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good show. Um, it's pretty just good one, show? it's just a one movie, but uh, it's pretty good. And for the record, I'm not like avoiding the movie, just like haven't been able to see it. It's been right watching Rise of the Silver Surfer like on repeat since <laughs> I'm at six. So no <laughs> <We're> in red. <laughs> um, we got a good one. Yeah. We didn't get a chase, um, which is a twenty dollar chase, which I've already opened up a couple of these before at home, and I got both the chases, so I'm not mad. But I have one I haven't pulled yet, and it's a fan favorite. It's gonna be the mayor. And the mayor is awesome. This is actually a really, really well painted mayor. Um, probably the best. Oh, it's Two Face. Um, yep, yeah, he's oh, he's flips faces and he's in a constant um, state of like despair and like grief because he it. thinks that Jack Skellington is always dying, and he's like, "No, Jack." That's actually a pretty good uh, impersonation of him. And so one time, like uh, Jack Skellington in the movie is riding Santa Claus's sleigh and he gets blown up, and um, uh, the mayor is like watching it through like a weird cauldron and he's like no jack is dead and then he gets in his like mayor mobile and he immediately gets on like a loud phone and he's like talk starts talking to the town and he's like everybody jack is dead and it's like pretty funny because it's like the biggest overreaction ever because it's like the main character didn't die it was just i think you're just seeing things wrong so it uh mayor is definitely a great character and i think this is like a great interpretation of him because both faces are on point he's got the microphone can you spin his head he spins his head in the movie, not in the in the in this. Are you sure? Yeah, it's it's just glued. It's um, glued. But he also has the feather too, and the this is a really well detailed, probably the best detailed one I've got out of the blind bags yet. So, props off to you, um, Manogram International out of Woma, California. You guys do good work. Keep making these. I want a series six. I'm, I'm sure they will. We got two packs left. Vivid voltage. Let's get something, Danny. I mean. I'm okay with my pulls, but we need a good Poké pull here. I mean, these are the first Vivid Voltage I've opened. I bought them. I waited for the show to open them. And I just want to pull something decent. Anything. I guess at this point. You know, give me the Pikachu rainbow. It don't matter. I pulled a Togekiss V the other day. Yanma. Wooper. Dedene. Super cute. Big fan. I'm going to put that one off to the side because he's cute. Pick, pick. Choodle. A reverse Hollow Swallow, everybody's favorite. And a Galarian Berserker, rare, non hollow. We don't need any more Galarian Berserkers or Meowths. Yep. You guys made one about every Sword and Shield set, so. Uh, Charmeleon, dope. Ooh. Dope. Nice, can I see that? Yeah. I haven't seen it. Uh, telescopic Sight, okay. And another Mightyena. Uh, dude, this Charmeleon is tight. Okay, you gotta look at it. It's not the card out of the week, but he's in a spaceship, like opening up and like blowing fire into it. That's pretty tight. Yeah, that's real cool. Why is he in a spaceship? <laughs> he's clearly, that's a spaceship, right? Like, that's the earth below him, and it's like opening up the spaceship. He's like, rah! I mean, I guess it could be like a boat on water, but I don't know how he'd get there. Well, Charmian is one going near water. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but why would he yeah. be in space? Flame doesn't exist in a vacuum in space. Well, he... Is a Pokemon. He's a Pokemon, so he kind of says, look at these. Last pack, guys. Can we please get something good? He has like fire drool coming out of the one side of his mouth, too. What's up with that? Fire drool. It's like one side's really like prominent with the fire, and that side's like, oh. it's a good. That's pretty good. We got a Jilber, we got a Whalmer, we got a Cottony, we got a Clobopus, we got a Electric, we got a Reverse Sour Pagina, uh, and we got a Hollow Magirna. Pretty happy with that actually, because pretty cute. I like Magirna. She's like the. Uh, she reminds me of the uh, fucking robot maid from the Jetsons. Love that chick. Yeah, like you see, like it's like feather duster. Carol, Carol, Carol Baskins. There we go. Magirna. Let's see if we got anything else. Go water energy. Um, Delmize. I'm a big fan of Delmize as well. It's a pretty too. cool card. I, I got like a really him. cute four Delmize V. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rocky helmet and an Alistair. Draw three cards. If you drew any cards this way, discard up to three cards from your hand. That'd be really good. My whole deck. Yeah. You don't have to discard any cards, by the way. Yeah. Discard up three cards. That's weird. It's a weird card. You must discard at least one card. Hmm. Um. Yep, and I actually, though we just... We just got in, breaking news, from the digital world. <laughs> Mega Devimon unlocks Metal Greymon's new 
Berserker mode. And I bet you're wondering, how did I get the message here and I already have it in my note cards? These are actually electronic note cards. Pick them up at Office Max. Thanks for watching the show. Uh, we'll have another episode in like some days, amount of days. Thanks, guys.